What's up, you two? This is Totem Crazy 88 back again with another episode for you. Again. You were listening to the Silvers. Just something I wanted to play for you guys before I head off to work. Some feel good music. Oh, hold on. Hold on a minute. Let me turn this down. I wanted to talk to you guys today about an article I read a couple of days ago. Well, yesterday, actually. And those of you who remember the Rayon McIntosh incident at that uh, McDonald's restaurant down in uh, Greenwich Village, well... (laughs) <laughs> Needless to say, these two nasty buckethead bitches um, is apparently going to sue the McDonald's. <laughs> they filed a lawsuit against the McDonald's <laughs> claiming that uh, Rayon McIntosh used unnecessary and excessive unlawful force to defend himself. And, and, and also, get this, you're not going to believe this, gang, that they also claiming that the franchise did not provide adequate security. And that the, the store should never have hired someone with brutal, dangerous, and vicious propensities. You got to read this article, people. And... Um, I might post the video at the end so you can just see um, um, how Rayon McIntosh is a hero to me. He should be a hero to all you black men out there who work in a position or anybody that's working a customer service position and you get these um, not even rude customers. I mean, I'm talking about belligerent customers. Now, these bitches were belligerent by all means. First of all, um, I'm going to post another article where, as, where they told a story about how it happened that this bitch came, these two bitches came in there acting the fucking fool, cussing this man out, talking about uh, mocking his uh, accent. Which is one, which is a lot of you ignorant, cheesy niggas would do. Ghetto, these cheese eating, ghetto, gutter trash niggas would do. Ignorant motherfuckers. Not knowing that just because you're from the islands, you're from the islands and you're from Africa or any other part of the world where you're dark skinned, 
You came from Africa, okay, motherfucker? So you need to stop that bullshit. That all that separating bullshit. Because you ain't shit yourself. These... These brothers look down on black Americans because y'all punk ass bitches, because y'all posting shit on World Star Nigger Network and, and wearing all that weave and contact in your head. And you got you and you got these men feminized and scared it, scared of these black women, these punk ass black women. All right. Now. I'm going to I'm going to go back. And to the line of my man Yakov Smirnov, who was a Russian comic back in the early 80s. And he would say, his reaction to this story would be, wow, what a country. Yeah, what a country. What a country we live in where criminals, people who commit a crime, get a chance to sue the franchise owner or the property owner for allowing someone that has dangerous, who, who is a danger to society. Okay, this man, he served his time in prison. I get it. He committed let manslaughter. He served his time. And he was trying to do something with his life. He wanted to do something with his life, like a lot of ex-cons. They don't come out, very few of them don't come out, they come out, very few ex-cons come out with that prison mentality, all right? Some of them do want to work. Some of them do want to have a life after prison, all right? Because, uh, because, you, because in prison nowadays, is not for rehabilitation. You are, another, you are a number and a slave. And when you get the club fed, oh, you will, oh, you will be working. You will be working for pennies. You don't get to sit around and bullshit. You will, you will be working. And you will get raped. And you will get brutalized by those, by those correction officers. Those COs. So you're going you're gonna, to... Every day is going to be a bad day when you're in prison, motherfuckers. Just keep, that, keep it in mind. But he was trying to move away from that prison mentality. And that's why I gave. That's why I have a little bit. I, that's why I have a lot of respect for this for Rayon McIntosh, and I supported him through throughout because he was trying to defend himself. And now these two nigger bitches gonna have the nerve to sue the restaurant where they were starting the trouble. They were causing problems. They were causing problems for the patrons, the workers there. I mean, this bitch jumped, slapped this, assaulted this guy, assaulted Rayon McIntosh, jumped over the counter to try to beat this man down, thinking that they're big and bad. But they got the worst end of it. They got their ass kicked. They got their heads beaten in. Good. They should. He should have did work. He should have did more work on these bitches. See, that's what one of... And, and, I, and I tell you, this, these bitches didn't learn their lessons, lesson from that because a few months later, one of those bitches, I think it was Denise Darbo, punk-ass bitch, was starting some shit up, got arrested for assault. Nothing happened. See, it's amazing that Rayon McIntosh, he spent two months in prison, no, not in prison, in jail on Rikers Island. Awaiting trial because he didn't, he didn't have enough money for bail for defending himself. He was arrested for defending himself while these bitches were out running around causing havoc, causing strife, causing chaos. And I think it's systematically that's what the system wants. They want black women, especially these lesbian man-hating bitches out here, to cause chaos and confusion in the community. They expect people to be scared of them because they thought they're all big and bad. I don't know what the fuck their problem is. But if they didn't learn their lesson by getting their ass kicked, okay, they'll never learn. So I think more, there should be more Rayon McIntoshes out there to handle this shit, this kind of problem. Now, this could only happen in America. Only in America, as my man Don King says. Now, there was a punk-ass nigga that 
that um, there was a punk ass, I'm not even going to mention his name. This punk ass nigga who's simp said that, made a comment on my um, repost video on uh, Ray, Ray on McIntosh acquitted. Now this punk ass nigga said that these two, these two women were lesbians and that it should be a hate crime for what he did. Really, a hate crime. This man got assaulted while he was doing his job. Let me, see, first of all, let me explain something to you. What a hate crime is. Well, first of all, let me explain that there's no such thing as, to me, there's no such thing as a hate crime. You commit a crime, it's done out of hate, okay? If you murder someone, it's done out of hate. Either it's done out of self-defense or you just hate that person. Because you hate, have hatred in your heart. Because you have no respect for God's word or God's law. That's the only reason why you would hate. That's the only reason why you would commit a crime to assault, to intentionally hurt someone. Okay? Let's get that straight. Now, first of all, he was doing his job checking the $50 bill that they presented. And these two bitches went off on him. Now, where's the hate on that? He was doing his job as a cashier. But these two bitches went off on him, cussing him out, mocking his accent, mocking his telling, saying that he needs to go back, needs to be deported. Punk ass bitches. Nah, bitches. Y'all bitches need to be deported back, back to prison. Because that's where you belong. That's where these two bitches belong in prison. The wrong people were sitting in the cage for two months. Second of all, one of these punk ass bitches assaulted him. So in essence, she, she, that, that punk ass bitch started the fight, started the whole incident. So he ran to get away from the incident. They went back to follow him. He didn't follow her. He didn't follow those bitches. They followed him. And when they followed him, he came out with a steel grill cleaner and started going ape shit on these bitches. And if I was standing there, I would say, hit her again. Hit her, hit her again. Hit her again. I would have been there cheering him, cheering him on. Because you want to know why? Because we're tired of bitches like this that act all big and bad and thinking that they can whoop anybody's ass. And then they get their ass kicked. Now they want to play victim. And that's exactly what these two bitches were doing. They playing victims when they filed this lawsuit, this ridiculous lawsuit. So, in essence, I'm not an attorney. I'm an amateur law. I'm a stu I do know the law. I've taken paralegal courses. So I know a little bit about the law. So, in essence, this is not a hate crime. Matter of fact, this is not even a criminal act. Was it, may, some might argue that it was excessive force. Maybe. I don't know. But if you're in that situation when you have two, two people that was acting a fucking fool that's a threat to your life, you do whatever you have to do to protect yourself in that situation. And that's exactly what Rayon McIntosh did. And he gets my, he gets, he's a hero to me. Now, now, now for that punk ass nigga. Now that I explained what a hate crime is, well, I haven't really explained what it is. I, I explained what it isn't in this situation. What it is is an attack on someone based on their race, which is kind of stupid if it's racially or, racially or gender motivated. In this case, it wasn't because this guy had no idea that these two lesbians these two niggers were lesbians. Well, listen, I got to run. I got to get to work. Uh, this is Talking Crazy 88, and I am out.